Hi there, it's Laura here from makingcardsistone.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. In today's card making video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do some sparkly watercoloring with Zik Clean Color Real Brush Markers as well as the Moments of Bliss stamp set from Unity Stamp Company. I'm starting out with my Misty tool and I am removing my um, foam pads out of my Misty since I'll be inking up this cling stamp from Unity Stamp Company. These cling stamps are thicker so that's why you don't need that foam mat inside your Misty tool. I am inking up the butterfly stamp with archival jet black ink and I am stamping that on some Canson watercolor paper that I trimmed down to four and a quarter of an inch by five and a half. After cleaning my stamp, I re-ink that with Versamark ink and then I'll be sprinkling on clear embossing powder from WOW. I wanted to add some shine to this butterfly and I thought that clear embossing powder would be a great way to do that. I'm using a little brush over there just to remove some excess embossing powder and then I am heat setting the powder until it's completely melted. Next it's time to color the butterfly. First I am applying some color using the peach pink marker and then I am using my pencil aquash brush to blend that color out. As you can see I only use one color and I get this amazing shading. I just apply a little bit of color and then blend it out with the pencil aquash brush. Next I am using the orange zig marker and I am just using the same aquash uh, pen or the water pen to blend out that color. If you don't have a water brush like I have, you could use a regular paint brush and some water. That would work perfectly fine as well. This is a great way to add some simple shading to your watercolored images and you only need one color and a little bit of water and a paintbrush. That's it. This uh, color scheme for this card was actually rainbow inspired as you can see because I'm using all of the rainbow colors and I had a lot of fun using my Zik Clean Color Real Brush Markers after a long time of not using them. I've used these quite a lot in the past but you know then I just stored them away in a container and I actually kind of neglected them since I've been using my Copic markers so much lately. But I definitely enjoyed coloring with these markers and this technique is just so easy. I think that anyone can do this. It's beginner friendly. If I can do this then you can definitely do this as well because I'm not that great at water coloring. I usually stick to easy Copic coloring. But I really did enjoy using these markers after a long time and I think that I'll be using them more in the future. So after I let my first layer dry, I just let that air dry while I was, you know, blending out everything. I um, went back in with each color and then did a little bit of extra blending just to get a really nice, beautiful kind of ombre effect for each color. So it looks like we used at least two shades of each color while we only used one marker per color. So... You don't need a bunch of markers to do this technique. I decided to add some sparkle and I am using a Spectrum Mars Shimmer Pen to do this. Since I don't want to mess up the shading, I am um, moving my brush from the lightest shade to the darkest shade. So, you know, for this orange, I'm starting out with a pale orange and then I am working my way upwards to the darkest orange. Um, and that's just how you do it. Um, because if I would have moved my brush from the darkest shade to the lightest shade, it would have blended out even more and then you wouldn't really see much of a highlight. I hope that makes sense to you. So here you can see the beautiful shimmer. You don't have to necessarily use a Spectrum Mars shimmer pen. 
it is my personal favorite because I think it adds the most sparkle uh, out of all of the sparkle pens that I tried. Um, but I definitely also like the Wink of Stella glitter pen and I also like um, the Tonic glitter pens. It's time to finish off this card and I'm stamping a sentiment from the Moments of Bliss stamp set from Unity Stamp Company underneath the butterfly. I first stamped it with Archival Jet, Blank, Jet, Jet Black Ink and then I stamped over that with first mark ink, sprinkled on my clear embossing powder and then heat set that until it was melted. I trimmed down my piece to 4 inch by 5 and a quarter and then I am adhering that onto a basil note card using my ATG from Scotch. I'm also going to adhere some ballet slippers um, sequence from the ton on this card using my EK Success tweezers and a Tonic Nuvo Smooth Precision Adhesive Pen. Finally, I am going in with some white blizzard glitter drops from Nuvo to add even more sparkle to this card. And here you go, that finishes up this card. I hope that you enjoyed the sparkly watercoloring technique and I hope that you'll give it a shot. I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.